this week on Health, the business of nutrition. A study questions the benefits of omega-3 for the heart. The laboratories hit back. We have to take omega-3 because it's good for the heart, but also for the brain and for the eyesight. Eat better, feel better. In the US, a special nutrition program for kids suffering with cancer. The focus is always on the medicine to cure the child. And it's Quebec's red gold. The antioxidants in cranberries attract customers from around the world. We sell cranberries in Europe, in Germany, in the UK, even in France. This week's show has brought us to Seattle, the largest global gathering of experts in food innovation. And not surprisingly, health has been at the centre of many of the industry discussions here. For example, the health benefits of omega-3 found in products such as fish, oil and nuts. And yet a recent study has questioned whether these fatty acids have any health benefits at all. Spoilt for choice. Sometimes it's difficult to know what to put in your shopping basket. Packaging plays a part, and customers in this supermarket are convinced if it's labelled omega-3, it must be good for you. I choose butter substitutes that have omega-3 written on them. I can also get it from natural products like fish. I think it's good for your health. <laughs> you hear so much about it in the media, especially on TV, about eating plenty of products rich in omega-3. I'm very concerned about the environment and I prefer a balanced, eco-friendly diet. So I buy a lot of things containing omega-3. Found in certain oils, vegetables and fish, omega-3 is a fatty acid which helps keep the heart in good condition. The body doesn't produce its own, so we get it from our food, and increasingly from food supplements. Marie-Charlotte Gouin is a sales rep from Solgar Laboratories. She supplies this Paris pharmacy with omega capsules. It's time to check up on how well business is going. How are the Omega sales going? There's an Omega-3 trend these days. People see a lot of commercials on TV or ads in health or women's magazines. Food supplements are an attractive option. Why bother rooting around in the supermarket looking for the right products when you can get your Omega-3 in a jar? You have to reposition by telling people that omega-3 is a fatty acid that's good for people's bodies, just like omega-6, but they get plenty of that from sunflower oil and corn oil, whereas omega-3 is found in fish, colza oil, things we eat, well, a lot less of. But do the supplements actually work? No, according to one US medical journal. Their report, based on studies of 70,000 patients, found no reduction in heart problems or death rate. For the experts, it's better to buy omega-3 in the food store than the pharmacy. What matters is having a varied diet, and indeed food which contains omega-3s, such as fish, but also organic vegetable foods. Wherever it comes from, Omega-3 is big business. A supplement and enriched produce market valued at 10 billion euros. We're at the Atelier de Chef, the French leader in cooking classes, a business worth more than 11 million euros in 2011. The chefs here pay particular attention to the salt, sugar and fat content in their ingredients, and the number of customers keeps growing. First they came because it was trendy, a bit glamorous, but now health reasons are becoming more important. People have finally realised that cooking your own food is the best way to ensure you eat in a balanced way. Today another market is being developed, food as a complementary treatment for cancer. One mother in the United States has used her experience with a sick child to develop a diet specifically for children suffering from the disease. Her idea was adopted at Georgetown University Hospital in the United States. Frontline Gats correspondents in Washington for this next report. You know how to peel an apple? Have you done it before? I will eat this. Four-year-old Morgan is a regular in the cancer wing. Diagnosed aged just seven months with leukemia, she is now in remission. This cooking class for kids inside the hospital is not new to her. 
Danielle Cook Navidi is here regularly to cook for the kids. She knows this place well. Her son Fabian was treated here, aged 11, for Hodgkin's lymphoma. His appetite changed drastically. That's when mother and son knew that to heal better, one needs to eat better as well. It was a trial and error thing, and we would see what worked and what didn't, and it kind of pushes you in the right direction. We, we, we learned that, okay, no tomatoes, they're too acidic, and this doesn't work for breakfast, but what if he had yogurt for breakfast, and maybe we try tofu to give him the protein that he needs. And It definitely is proof that you can get beaten to nothing, and you can rebuild yourself to stronger than you were before. The mother has turned this experience into a nutrition program used at home and at the hospital. I made so many damn salads for the press. I really went back to the <laughs> basics. I went back to making broths and soups and beverages and smoothies to really just bring him along as gently as possible to rebuild that, that absolutely, it really ripped up uh, gastrointestinal tract that he had. So one of the things that I am now teaching with the nutrition program is how to get the proteins and how to get the nutrients you need and in a simpler gray one, form. Gray button. Right. Parents and the young patients, though sometimes reluctantly, do join in and adapt to this new way to eat and drink. The doctors at the hospital also give it the seal of approval. And uh, the one thing that we often tend to forget is that nutrition is just as important. If a child isn't well nutritionally, he's not going to be able to handle the chemotherapy well. They tend to have longer... Danielle's experience has now made for a recipe book, and for its launch, doctors and families with children currently in the ward got together, as did the inspiration behind it all, the son, who is now cured from cancer. It's the season for cranberries here at Rangis, said to be the largest wholesale food market in the world. These berries have made their way to France from North America, and they don't come cheap. Cranberries cost between 10 and 12 euros per kilogram, which is quite expensive compared to more traditional products. Cranberries are often marketed as a super fruit for their antioxidant properties, and this positive health association could not be better for business. In Quebec, the industry has doubled in the last five years, and Canada is now on track to dethrone the United States in overall production. France and Gatt's correspondence with this next report. It's the most spectacular step, the harvest. First, the fields are flooded, the water rising about 20 centimetres. The hollow fruit then fall from the plants and begin to float. For the cranberries to ripen and turn their characteristic red, they need Quebec's kind of cold. Look how beautiful this fruit is. They're ready for harvest. Look how firm it is. It's like a small apple, very firm. Look inside. The seeds are red, and when the seeds are red, that means the fruit is ready to be harvested. A tractor as red as the fruit it's harvesting pulls the cranberries out by their roots. Louis Michel's fields turn red. His business, meanwhile, has been in the black for six years as demand continues to steadily rise. Quebec now produces 54 million tonnes of cranberries. It has doubled its area of production. Before you'd only find cranberry in jelly or juice. Now you'll find it almost anywhere in the supermarket. In yogurts, granola bars, cereals, and even with meat. There's more and more meat being cooked with cranberries. The selling point has already been found. Cranberries may not always be praised for their taste. They are a little bitter, but consumers buy them almost like a drug. It can heal a urinary tract infection, otherwise cranberry juice is not that good. You only drink it when you're sick. But chocolate muffins with fresh cranberries, that's good. It's a great fruit. You have lots of antioxidants, nutrients, just like strawberries or blueberries. They're super beneficial for your health. They're refreshing and good for your health, instead of Coke, Pepsi and all that junk. Doctors put it best. Complete with antioxidants, cranberries have it all. Or almost. 
The cranberry's anti-inflammatory effects were documented for proanthocyanidin molecules, and there are cytotoxic effects for cancer cells. There are also anti-angiogenic effects. It blocks the development of blood vessels associated with tumor development. Studies have shown that it prevents the proliferation of Helicobacter pylori, a bacterium linked with stomach cancer. Discovered by the native people, the cranberry has conquered the world. 60% of Louis Michel's production will be exported. The future looks good. Not only in Canada, but also in Europe, laboratories are exploring ways to use the cranberry in many different fields. To take one example, the cranberry may even protect against receding gums. Toothpaste of the future could well taste of cranberry. Health and wellness looks set to stay as a profitable trend in the food industry. And perhaps one of the most recent success stories has been that of organic produce. To give you an idea, sales here in France have jumped 5% in the first half of this year alone. That brings us to the end of this week's show. Thanks for joining us here on Frontline Cat. We'll see you next time.